Welcome back to Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I was going to start this video with me investigating a uh, specific keyhole that I blatantly missed in a previous video, as was pointed out to me in a comment. But I can't. Because this chapter replay feature is really just a quick way to actually load your game back to that point. So I wouldn't be able to do this and then go back to my current game. Oh well, say la vie. Maybe I'll go back when I'm done and hunt down all the last few memories. Back to the game at hand. There we go. We are in the Dreary Lane Theater, looking for Carpenter. Sup. Why would the frame rate be suffering in here? I know I have to go in there, obviously, but uh... Never hurts to take a look around. This is a weird dress. Let's see here. Ah, Alice! Delighted to see you again, my dear. Your arrival is filled with fortunatality itself. Really? I didn't even know. My pregnant show is about to pop. It requires only a medicament of your health velocity. I don't have much experience, but I do need to reconstruct my... We can barter. Have a nice screwdriver, nearly new, or a nice hammer if you... There's a train that's corrupting Wonderland, and I'm looking for help to restrain or destroy it. Bottle. Most vexatious, no doubt, will address that monstrosity directly. That's to say, eventually. Now, let's intermediate more important matters. Due to a logistical foul-up, some of the show's requisites need to be gathered. The munificent script needs fetching. The writer's overly imaginative and exploring several endings. Then you'll need to assemble the show's tune deft music. And finally, gather our stars, the show's tasty, uh, nay, tasteful performers. You should leave now. The essentiality of haste is essential. Is this guy high? Ready for the show. Why can't you assemble these things yourself? An impresario has arrangements. Ducks in a row, fish to fry, calls to Newcastle, etc, etc. Fetch the script from the writer, then we can batter or clatter or natter as the case may be. Is the writer cantankerous? To a personage of your distinguished repudiation? I blush at the notionality. He's an octopus, by the by. Lives over that way. Ta-da! Here I thought my dad was the only person in the world to use the phrase, by the by. What's up, Morris? Oyster and Company. Yes, of course. Morris and the Carpenter. That's accurate to the moon I saw earlier. I wonder if heavenly bodies can get lung cancer. Well, that wasn't open before, so... Oh, 
All right, that isn't a first-person view here. I was about to make a staring contest joke. When in doubt, let me in. You're mean. Oh. That's handy. Oh. Someone's gonna have to mop that up, and it's not me. I don't clean carpets. Well, you don't use a mop on a carpet. Shut up, brain. You're overthinking this. Uh. I believe that's a nanny. If you spent as much time practicing as you do in Wonderland, you'd be the next Sullivan or Gilbert of one of them. I guess those treasure chests aren't real. Uh, so to speak. This being. Wonder freaking land, of course. Real is a uh, figure of speech. You're sufficiently fortified to kick some ass to boot these creatures, Nether Legion. <laughs> you know, he seems just as confused as I do, and I like that. That's generally a bad sign. I was expecting that would trigger certain doom, but I guess I have to walk over there first. Oh crap, not these guys again. I need to redirect that. Oh crap. How do I get him to, uh... That's how... How that worked. 
Nope. Sup, jellies? What an odd choice for platforms. You know this underwater vista needs? Easter Island heads. Ah. No, no. Oh well. Easily remedied. Blarg! Kills off here, is that? Oh no, that's right. It doesn't matter because I wouldn't die. Christ. <laughs> Asses, I missed one. Hang on. No, I don't hear a pig after all. Looks like he didn't leave a bruise, though, so that's good. What attacks? They just float there, and I shoot them in the face. There you are! Oh, whoa, whoa! The hell is this? I did not touch the R button there, folks. Alright. That's one way to make an entrance, I guess. This place smells like a ripe distillery with a whiff of halitosis and urine. It's a scent of unrecognised genius. It's a piss off. More empties than a Dublin brewery. The carpenter sent me. For starters, the carpenter is a pusillanimous, parsimonious, petty fucking moron. That's his maybe, but he sent me for this script. I need... Your needs a shite. I need a drink. Who cares? I need those responsible for my abortive career in chains. No joy. I need to know what love is. The world is mum. Just now, I need a dose of hide and seek. Find me thrice, fair maid. Be quick about it, and we can deal. Why did he put the word thrice in quotes? 
A lifetime hiding his true colors gives him an edge, but he can't conceal the way he moves. Writing's an apt occupation for an octopus. He never runs out of ink. Hmm, that's a very good point. Where the ink flows, the octopus goes. Follow the ink. Ape formats to die for. The Daily what? The Daily Walrus. Oh, a performance to die for. There we go. It's a newspaper review. Written on a fish. <sighs> what the hell is even going on in this game? I think it should really say something about my surroundings that I thought absolutely nothing weird about the fact that Ape Performance was written on the uh, fish there. Definitely flashing. Okay. I don't even want to know. Thank you, Duchess. Do I have to find a bottle with ink flowing out of it or something? God damn it. Ah. Well, I see no more noses. I'm gonna call it here. We'll keep looking for the octopus in the next episode. Let's play Alice Madness Returns. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then.